Hi, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to be measuring the hotness or the Scoville heat units of this um, chili jam or chili jelly. In the US you may refer to this as jelly, in the UK they would refer to this as a jam. With that said I'm going to go ahead now and make a preparation of the sample and um, do a test on it to measure the Scoville heat units. So if I just um, go to um, this particular camera I've got the Scoville meter here, I've got a chili sensor in here. I've actually weighed out um, almost 0.1 grams of the um, jelly into this pan. Now I want to, um, into this weighing boat, let's say, and I want to actually add in um, 0.9 millilitres um, of the um, of the chili pot buffer. I'll show you the buffer in a minute, but I just want to, um, I'm doing what's really called a 1 in 10 um, dilution. I'm sort of counting in my head at the same time as I do this. So I hope I don't miscount. Uh, right, I did that that way because it, that was the pipette that I actually had on me. Um, so what I will now do is I'm gonna transfer it um, into a little vial like this. So I want to make sure that I get sort of, um, get everything transferred across. So, which is um, what I will now do. I might get myself a slightly larger um, pipette in order to do this. So let me just get this um, out of here. I don't really want to leave, um, well, I definitely don't want to leave material behind. Um, the reason being is, you know, I want to make sure that we actually extract all of the capsaicin. Um, So I'm just getting all of that solution now. Into here, right. What I now want to do is, um, I've prepared the sample. Um, here's the sample. I'm going to vortex it um, in a minute. Let me just think, yeah, okay, I'm gonna I'll give it a quick um, vortex, and the vortex uh, just shakes like crazy. And I'm vibrating it like crazy because trying to manually do this, I won't be anywhere as efficient as if I use a vortex. -er. It's probably worth saying a vortex -er is only about 50 pounds, so it's not, or oh, 50 dollars, it's not uh, super expensive. Now my sample looks like um, this. So um, it's slightly cloudy, it's got some chunks in it. Um, so there's, no, there's about 0 0.1 grams of the jelly in here, of that chili jelly, and about 0 0.9 milliliters of the um, buffer. And when I say the buffer, the food sense generation four comes with 500 mils of buffer, so you could appreciate how many tests we can get out of that. So let me just think in my mind. So I've got the um, meter here, I've got the app, and I've got the sensor on here. So what I'm gonna do is, um, the app tells the meter what to do, the meter will um, give the data back to the app, and then I'll get a result on my phone. So I'm gonna put 50 microliters of this sample um, onto this sensor. So let me just do this. So this is the sample I just prepared. Fifty microliters has gone on. Um, I will give it a name. I'll give it a name so I can find it later on. And I will go to assay, start measurement, and off we go. Right. So now it's going through um, the actual assay itself. Um, because it's a jelly slash jam, it's quite liquidy anyway. I mean, I, by by definition, a jelly is a kind of is a kind of um, halfway between a solid and a liquid. Let's say. So it's quite easy to extract it and um, get the capsaicin out of it. I have tasted this. I had some of this on um, some toast. It's not super hot. You know, this is nowhere near, anywhere like near a sort of, you know, a mild sauce. So it's come back and I will show it to you. Um, let me just change cameras really quick. So it's come back and it said, um, Scoville heat unit 17, um, sorry, Scoville heat unit 1120, and it also says um, uploads complete. I'm just quickly um, going to a browser on my um, 
on my laptop. So what I want to do then is just going to share my screen with you a bit because before I do that, I just want to kind of, you know, so it's, it's given me a result on my phone and that's easy now. So you can write down that result on your, on your, um, in your, in your record. So let's say if you were doing batch release, um, 1,120, um, maybe if you were fortifying this to make it a bit hotter, you could then kind of add more powder or layer resin or something like that to sort of fortify the um, taste, um, or rather the, the hotness of it. But I just want to show you that, um, in fact, it's also sent the data to the cloud. So let me just share that um, with you now. Now in this webinar or rather in this video, I'm not gonna start talking about the fingerprint for capsaicin, but I can see um, there's some um, bumps in here that tell me that this is actually capsaicin and I can see it doing its analysis and I can see the result 1124 here. And um, I also get the raw signal as well. I also get the, the name that I gave it, the date that I gave it, the time that I gave it, the operator who actually ran this, the raw signal and the result is all saved. As I say, you are not at all obliged to um, look at that, but it does give me traceability. You know, it allows me to kind of know that it's been done I know what the raw signal is like. The software has actually turned the raw signal into a number. But one of the things we like about this is traceability and also the transparency, um, let's say, of the um, system as well. So if I'm just going to do a quick um, summary at the end here. So we weren't expecting this jam to be super hot. It's actually just over a thousand Scoville heat units. Um, you know, something like Tabasco sauce is um, 2,500. So in simplistic terms, you could say that's two and a half um, times more um, hot and many people don't think this is particularly hot but of course if you're making a jam I don't think you're really blending it to be super hot and it's not but I'm sure it's blended more for flavorsome and thus um, we took 0.1 grams of it and um, diluted it in 0.9 milliliters of it and um, if you have any questions regarding the food sense generation 4 sometimes known online as the Scoville meter then our contact details are here and I'll also put them underneath the video as well. Okay, take care, have a good one, bye-bye.